an amazing race. It was aggression from the very beginning. We saw big ones happening, and it took three overtimes to get to the end of this race. I'm exhausted. I can only imagine being a driver in today's race. I mean, the number of cautions, and there's just so much on the line, Rick, that, that everybody's pushing and trying to make things happen, and, and you can't blame them. Uh, there's so much to gain. There's so much on the line. Think about Matty D. Uh, his career, his opportunity to continue in this sport might be on the line. Winning a race would be huge to him, so you can't blame him for anything he may be trying to do in order to get a win. Yeah, I got a great idea for everybody. How about we just get rid of the yellow line rule? Um, nobody really wants to see the races come down to these type of decisions, and I don't think it's going to crash more cars than we crashed today. So, you know, it's kind of frustrating to have to make these decisions. I know NASCAR doesn't want to be put in this position, so let's just get rid of it as you know, get rid of it from here on out. Uh, just let these guys race it out. At least in the last few laps, they're going down there below the yellow line, anyways. Uh, it takes everybody sort of out of the out of the position of having to make these type of calls because it's not fun. Uh, but definitely kind of agree with the decision they made as per the rule and how it's written, but we could just get rid of it altogether. It'd be great with me. Just incredible. I mean, you know, it's just drivers trying uh, to get what they could get out of this day, uh, whether you're in the playoffs or not. Uh, I mean, it, you know, it was almost a, a career-defining day for Matt DiBenedetto. And uh, but before I go any further, let me just say there are two Dales. I'm going to put my name in there with Dale Jr. saying that let's get rid of this yellow line where NASCAR doesn't have to be what we would call put in this position because I, uh, I'm not saying that Denny shouldn't have won the race there. Uh, uh, what Matt DiBenedetto was doing and, and the contact that, that was created there on the last lap, I don't think he deserves to finish 21st or wherever that was uh, that's going to come from that. But it's tough. And, and But let's, let's get rid of that where you're not put in that position. Uh, but as far as the racing, it, everything was just incredible. Just people doing everything they possibly could uh, to try to be the first one uh, to the start-finish line uh, on this last lap. And uh, just amazing driving. Uh, but more crashing than what we have seen. You know, we've seen bigger wrecks that took out more cars at one time, but not. But so many people were still in the mix here. And you could just see that Matty D doing what he uh, felt like he had to do to, to get there. Uh, Denny Hamlin lays back all day, which is the thing that I think he and Kevin Harvick both should have been doing all day, and they were doing that to ensure that they were going to be into the round of eight. Uh, but uh, just, uh, just an incredible day. And, and you know, Matt DiBenedetto, he's a driver – Aside from everything there and wherever he, whatever his finishing position may be in, I have to say, he shouldn't be fighting for his driving career every single week because he's too talented of a race driver not to be in an excellent race car uh, with an opportunity to win each and every week. He is that good uh, that he could be in the mix every time that he gets behind the wheel. Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.